quarter till the hour now and in Crime Tracker 10 Crime Fighters this morning, protecting your home while you're away. Crime Tracker 10's Jeff Hogan joins us with a look at the tried and true prevention techniques. I'm joined this morning by Officer Aaron Peachy with the Westerville Division of Police. We want to thank you, as always, for joining us. And if you're like me, you're thinking about spring break. And I know a lot of folks are out there with this weather. Spring break can't come soon enough, but with it come some warnings if you're going to be leaving your home for a period of time. Isn't that right? Exactly. Um, you want to take precautions to secure your home. Make sure all of your exterior doors are locked. It's a good idea to put all your blinds down. Um, you want to make sure that your, if you have your mail and your newspaper carriers, let them know you're going to be out of town. Put a hold on your mail. Um, a full mailbox is a great indicator that no one is home and makes you a prime target for thieves. There are great apps like the USPS app where you can download it and have your, you know, hold your mail and everything right from there. Yeah, just pick it up when you get back, set that last day on it. I try to mm -hmm. tell a neighbor also, mm -hmm. hey, if any yeah. boxes or packages get delivered, can you just clear them off my porch and put them somewhere else, you know. But uh, inside the house, outside the house, things around there, uh, lighting could be something when you're gone as well. Um, it's great to have um, timers put on your lights, especially on the inside. They can alternate at different times in case someone is watching your home. Outside, the uh, motion lights are fabulous. Um, they detect pretty much everything. I mean, even officers like, at three in the morning when we're checking a home and those lights go off, that startles you. Mm -hmm. It's definitely gonna startle someone trying to break into your home. Now, there could be some local agencies who will do that when you're on vacation. They have something you can sign up on the web and they'll come by and periodically check your house uh, while you're that. gone. If you choke, just check with your local department um, for any kind of vacation notification. Um, you can leave your information or someone close by, a trusted friend, if something happens or there's an emergency, then they'll contact you. I'm living proof of that because mm -hmm. I left that uh, with my local agency and they came in and found a door open and shut it for me and everything else while I was mm -hmm. gone. So that was a good thing. Now, while you're away on vacation, this is the day and age we live in. Mm -hmm. People want to post on social media. Talk about the dangers of that. The worst thing you can do is put on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, that you are planning your vacation, when your vacation is taking place, mm -hmm. how long you're going to be gone. That's what thieves look for, and that's the homes that they're going to target. And when you're gone, you don't want to download pictures showing that you're out of town and you know, you're having fun. When you get back, download everything then at that point. Okay, I know it's tough for folks to, to do that, to hang on to that, but uh, the mm -hmm. countdowns and all well, those types right. of things. They get excited, but that's what they look for, especially this time of the season. They know you're gone. So if you post it when you get back, then everybody's safe, you're back at home, and, and everybody gets to see the pictures anyway. Perfect. All right, so hang off on that. All right, thank you very much, Officer Peachy, for joining us and being with us today. Let's go back to you. Jeff, thank you. There are also smartphone apps like Dropcam and iCam that can help you monitor your home while you're away. You can find more crime prevention tips at 10tv.com slash crime tracker 10 or on the crime tracker 10 Facebook page.